your side. A grisly discovery after a dark past remains buried in the yard at a serial killer's family home. And his son is convinced victims are still buried there. Personally, I think there's a lot. I just can't see how somebody that could do that is going to stop at one. Tonight, only on 8, the son who believes his childhood home is a graveyard. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, Billy Mansfield III talks about facing ridicule and hatred for his father's crimes. And then he tells our reporter Melanie Michael something that took her by surprise. After those human remains were found, many are convinced there's more out there, including the son of the serial killer who spent a lifetime, he says, haunted and hated. For well over half a century, the locals in Spring Hill say the Mansfield home has always made them feel uneasy. A house that holds the darkest of secrets where a serial killer carried out unspeakable crimes. Memories that still haunt the son who spent a lifetime shamed, hated, and judged. You know, they brought it up nonstop. It's been brought up my whole life. You're a bad person. Life has been far from easy for the son of serial killer Billy Mansfield. A journey spent running from the past with scorn in the present. I think maybe that's where the PTSD comes from now because you block it out of your mind. As a kid, you can't really comprehend what's going on. And then over the years, you get asked a lot of questions, even the questions you're asking. And over the years, you can't really comprehend that. So when you get older, it starts flooding your mind of what happened. The son says he was five years old when he saw his father for the last time, watching his dad's face through a window as police waited outside. More than four decades later, the convicted serial killer is serving four life sentences. Father and son talk three times a week during calls from a California prison. We wanted to know, as the son of a serial killer, has he ever asked his dad about the murders? But I'm not going to say that he committed the murders, and that's the only thing I asked him. Did you commit the murders? He said, no, I didn't commit them. You know, Gary did. Billy Mansfield III is now living in Michigan with his family, far from Florida, and the home he spent much of his childhood, a place he says now is a graveyard. Personally, I think there's a lot. I just can't see how somebody that could do that is going to stop at one. And if there was four and five, if you didn't stop at one, you ain't stopping at four and five. This son says he is constantly searching for peace, a difficult task when the family name is synonymous with murder, based on his serial killer father. He hopes the families who lost loved ones in the late 70s make peace with the past. Do you want to see those bodies excavated and families put at peace? Um, I, I, I'd always love to see the families of, of, you know, who these people are put at peace because it's just terrible. I mean, you know, it's unthinkable. What if it was, you know, somebody in my family? In the end, the son says he'll stay in Michigan and never return to Florida. Too many painful memories. He does hope, however, that investigators continue to search the property for bodies, a place he once called home. In Hernando County, I'm Melanie Michael. Aid on your side.